greetings you guys so happy saturn day aka saturday so i'm scheduling these readings out so by the time you see this will this will be saturday or whenever you're meant to watch this message okay um so i'm gonna tap in and see what is it that our ancestors our divine team that loves us that protects us wants us to know at this time so let's go ahead and tap in and see what their messages are for us okay Holy Spirit, angels that divinely guide us and assist us. I pray for the divine wisdom and our, our high council, our divine beloved ancestors, our celestial team, our family. What is the message that you have for this collective? Okay, I heard washing your hands clean. Okay, washing your hands clean. So you have the Nine of Cups. So some of you guys could be... Um, performers so you come from a family of performers or entertainers or you guys have um, gifts and talents four of the sacred circles which is the four of pentacles so some of you guys could be musicians okay maybe you guys play like flutes clarinets um, some type of instrument like that um, this is a communion with your spiritual team, your ancestors, yeah, princess of the sacred circles, okay? So some of you guys, there's a lot of um, indigenous ancestry coming up, I'm picking up Navajo and picking up Mayan as well. I feel like Some of you guys could have been heavily sheltered, okay, with the temperance. You guys could have been heavily sheltered as a child. You could have been the only child. You could have been the first child. You could have been the youngest child. But there's something about you being very sheltered, okay. Um, then you have the temperance with the eight of swords here. Temperance, eight of swords. A lot of native ancestry coming through. And for some of you, it is... Um, some Asian, like, um, more so, like, Chinese, Japanese, I'm hearing. Not seeing any other Asian cultures. I'm just seeing specifically those two, but I'm getting Japanese strongly, though. Um, so some of you, this is your ancestry. For some of you, I do see, um, seeing Persia, Persian ancestry, could be some Egyptian with this King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So your ancestors are coming through to you. I feel like music is a big thing of connecting with your ancestors. Dance specifically. Some of you guys may play the guitar or the ukulele. Oh, I can never say that. Ukulele. I can never say it. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I sound goofy trying to say it. Drums as well. There's something about drums. Your ancestors really take to instruments. Okay, or that's just your culture, your ancestors, um, how they communicate with a great spirit. Strongly, I'm hearing with music, you yourself, even if you're not a musician or you don't, you know, have any instruments, you could, you know, listen to these sacred sounds to connect with your ancestors, because I feel like there's something that they're going to instruct you to do that's going to require some type of purifying ritual because the first thing that came to me was purify like washing of your hands that was I think that was a phrase that I heard something along the lines of that and you see with this temperance card she is doing some type of water work magic or ritual or some type of purification ritual here I was getting in one of my videos from last week something about going to the waters and doing some type of purification ritual or something like that I'm getting it again here so if you guys are called to the water it's for a reason it's not just for you because you just want to go to the water but it's because your soul your divine team rather is calling you to it I want to read what this temperance card means in this day okay here it is temperance it says con conservation of resources moderation wise management of self and environment 
taking a stand on the abuse of humans, animals, and or the earth can also imply sterility, extension, pollution, ravaged environment, ecological disasters, or misuse of resources. That is heavy right there. That's heavy. I want to read that again because I feel like this is the work that you're doing. Um, conservation of resources, especially if you are of the indigenous, there's a reverence for nature and a respect of nature and God and nature and all things. So the environment is very important, especially the waters and the oceans and keeping it pure, right? So I'm getting with this, this is what you're being guided to do. So I'm gonna read the temperance again. It says con conservation of resources, moderation, ma wise management of self and environment, taking a stand on the abuse of animals, humans, and or the earth can also imply steril sterility, ster oh my God, like sterile. Why can I talk? Sterility, sterility, whatever. <laughs> Extension, pollution, ravaged environment, ecological disasters or misuse of resources. Okay, you're gonna be called to do something. So I would take something with you some type of sacred like bowls or something that you're going to be guided to use i'm hearing shells like those big shells i don't know what i did with mine but it's like enough to fit maybe in your palm of your hands if you have little hands it might over be oversized but um something that's sacred to you some type of vase some maybe a mason jar something where you're going to do some type of work with the water just trust it just go with it some of you guys already know what you're doing but just trust it if you're called to it with the eight of swords there's something about it getting over a fear as well or second guessing or doubting for some of you um there might have been i'm getting like strong feminine energy some type of oppression a feeling of being oppressed like your ancestor, like a feminine or the female side of the ancestors may, may have come from a culture where women were silenced, where they were, you know, kind of gatekeeped from doing certain things. They couldn't partake in um, certain rituals if it was out of tradition or something like that, rather than, you know, your soul calls you to do certain things. And if it's not like by the book or by the traditions, it's kind of like frowned upon or there could be repercussions or punishment i'm hearing for that let me read the eight of swords in this deck as well because i'm curious let's see oh, this book is hard to to turn cups wands swords okay eight of swords being held captive by one's own spirit <laughs> child li listen I don't usually read the books unless I'm led to. So I've had this deck for a while. It was gifted to me um, by a lovely lady named Ashley. Thank you, Ashley, again for this deck. And I was drawn to this deck for a minute, but I never got it. And I love the the size of it, how big it is, because it's like it's like a big picture to me. So I like it. Um, but I've never read the book until today. So the meaning. I had no idea about this, but I want to read this again to you guys. The Eight of Swords, it says, being held captive by one's own tradition, blindsided by the path of tradition, societal boundaries, paralysis by fear, fearing to act because of the impossibility, or sorry, the possibility of scandal or misunderstood motives. Alternatively, pitting one's will against fate slash destiny, braving scandal or scorn to do the right thing acting despite of overwhelming obstacles i want y'all to see that for yourself eight of swords is right here so some of you your ancestors definitely felt oppressed by traditions and rules and you know women can only do this they can only do that and some of you guys may unknowingly may be carrying that within you as well and what you're doing is you're being called from that um, 
yeah if you are an entertainer you're a dancer or some sort or you're a musician i feel like there's so much more to you than what people see on the surface okay is more to you um or you have these talents that you're utilizing them for a reason okay they may open doors for you to utilize your influence you have health take time to look after yourself number 56 so some of this as well like with the temperance said it says looking after yourself and the environment so taking care of you as well is needed your health your spiritual team is encouraging you to eat lighter foods alkaline diet i'm hearing forgiveness for yourself yes you're carrying a burden that's not just your own but it's ancestors but you also have to forgive yourself there might have been times where you didn't say yes or you didn't say no when you really wanted to um, where you felt oppressed, where you felt like your voice didn't matter. Um, some of you guys may be called to like center yourself, go within, meditate, do some um, energy healing work, affirmations around yourself, something with the third eye or the crown chakra. Listen to your whispers, you are being guided. Number 22. So some of you guys may see 222 a lot or 22, okay? Those are a sign that your spiritual team is calling you and to pay attention, okay? Pay attention to those subtle feelings that you get, those subtle pulls, okay? If you're desiring something, it, it, you know, check in with your spirit and see where that desire is coming from. If you've been desiring to go to the water, it is for a reason. It's not just for your own enjoyment. I do feel like spirit wants you to go out there and connect with nature, purify your energy, you know, get some, get some recharge, but also too, there's some spiritual, there's something you're being called to do. You're about to do some type of sacred ritual out there. Okay. You have the yang, the rise of the divine masculine. So you might be doing some type of healing work for masculine energy or something about this patriarchal um, energy that could have started or could have been a wherever the genesis was of the oppression here of your your ancestors your feminine your female ancestors there's something about that okay and you have the inner child card number 46 listen to the voice within you so you're very connected to your ancestors very connected and they speak to you and it's some of you guys they speak to you through nature very subtle some of you guys like the wind the wind may for you might be a signal or a sign that spirit or your spiritual team is speaking to you your inner child is going to guide you to do things that you might feel like it's just fanatical or just really delusional like okay spirit says this is the spot for you to stand i want you to pick this water up i want you to sing to it i want you to speak these words over it pour it into the ocean or whatever and you might think oh i'm tripping i'm i'm losing my freaking mind no your inner child is like that pure essence that sacred energy that's most connected to god that's guiding you okay so i'm gonna leave the reading at that i hope this was helpful and this resonated with those of you whom this is meant to resonate with and as always be blessed be safe take care peace